Hello friends, Swaroop here. In my fifth video presentation, I will be revealing a very important question that is asked in many interviews that where from the concept of class originates? Well, the answer to this question would be from the concept of structure. Yes, the same structure which you have implemented in C language is still very much available in C sharp as well as in Windows form of using C sharp 2. And in this program, that's what I will be demonstrating. So let me just execute the program first. As I do that, a form comes up, which prompts me to enter my details. So I'm providing my details over here. And now I'm providing my phone number, 8981728365. And, and as I hit the enter button, you can see that the data which I have provided, my first name, my last name, and my phone number, all together has successfully appeared in the message box. So how is this working? So let's go and check it out. So for that, we move into the uh, class description. What I have done over here, I have taken three string variables and I have written something over here. Hey, what is this? So right click on this, go to definition, I just scroll down to the same page. Here I have declared something called a structure. A structure in Shisha provides a unique way of packing together data that of different data items. Well, even though I have taken all the three of same data type, but you can also go for an amalgamation of different data type as well, a mixture of different data types, okay? So I've declared over here three structured type member variable, first name, last name, and phone number. So these variables, I will be taking input dynamically from the user, and that's what I'm doing when the user is hitting this button. So the moment the user is hitting this button, provided the user has already given the value in the respective text box, so initially I'm storing them in a local variable of the class, okay, if, uh, if name, L name and phone. And then what I have doing is already I have declared the structure type variable by the name called S1. And now using the same dot operator, which we see in case of a reference variable giving a call to a method. That's what we have been doing in the previous videos. We created a reference variable out of constructor and then the reference variable was giving a call to the method using the preed or the dot operator. The same thing we are also doing right over here. The only difference is that we don't have any method over here. Well, you might be wondering that can there be any method inside a structure? <laughs> well, you have to wait for my next video for that. But, well, in this regard, let me tell you that this variable are been the member of the structures that have been assigned respectively what user has given input over here, okay? So that's how the input has been getting stored inside the structure type variable by the name S1. And then I can easily populate the member of the structure through the help of such a type variable, see, S1.fname, S1.lname, and S1.phone, which is already holding these following values, okay? So that's all for this video presentation and I'm very sure that you had a clue that how these variables which can take the data from an user and then ultimately can populate them successfully and that's what I have been doing, okay? So as I already said, do structure has a method inside? For that, let's wait for my next video. Thank you so much.